Good afternoon. It's August 22nd, 2017. Time to wrap up the day. Take a look at Globex and tomorrow morning opening. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Well, we came in today on the E-mini, and we thought best resistance was right there at 40 to 42. And if we got through 42, then really the next stop was going to be 24.50. Uh, throughout the day we talked about we have no interest in getting short and the major reason for that was down here was in pain number three. The large institutional accounts were adding to their length throughout the session. So uh, mean green trade if you took it. Um, you're coming out of the mean green trade here. A buy, those buys those buys, those buys, those retest failures. I mean, it's just a slow grind. Our recommendation was just accept it and look for a place to get long. And that's exactly what happened. So um, we do, I mean, we're able to follow the market. We know what's coming, well, you know, what the... the um, odds are what favor higher or lower prices uh, it's nice to have that in your back pocket knowing that you should trade from the long side a lot of the impetus today was uh, based on this is day one two three when the third day doesn't break the market or the move doesn't continue somebody takes profits so we had the uh, swing trader the um, covering their shorts too to add to the buying strength so um, stops above 50 then 60 then 75 and then our high of 88 that's where the resistance is and if Trump's um, talks about um, a tax package um, we start to see more of that the market can trade higher the market's been trading higher off of industrial policy changes and tax cuts and he's done a lot of good things on the industrial policy that he can do. Unfortunately, they can all be undone. Um, but now he needs to get the tax package through. Okay, uh, we have a little news tomorrow. Uh, PMI consolidated. Um, consolidated is a combination of services and manufacturing 54.3. I don't think anybody pays much attention to that. And then new home sales, 610. Then crude uh, inventory. So the focus will be new home sales. And for us, the, um, the uh, crude inventory report. Uh, we have a high right here at 55. I think we can go higher, so based on what we're looking at now, 54, 56, sell 1, 59, 61, sell 2. On the buy side, 45, 47. And we'll put a question mark at 49. That's where the breakout came from, then 40 to 42 for buy 2. Big news event this week is Friday. Yellen and Draghi. Uh, both speak at Jackson Hole. So they can turn the markets. Uh, again, the uh, trades from the long side until we get a retest of resistance. Looking at the uh, tenure, lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it. 
looking at the profile right here, definitely a B volume wise. And if we put all of this together, easier to see. Uh, right in here, uh, you could make a you know in the congestion area a case for a P, but if we put it all together, market is trying to sell. So uh, 19s to 23 sell one. 27 to 31 sell two. On the buy side, uh, stops below 16, so 12 to 16 buy one. And then 5 to 9 buy two. Okay, we're at 17, so 20 to 24 is number 1. 27, 31, sell 1. 3 to 7, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, 12 to 16, number 1. 5 to 9, buy 1. 29 to 01, buy 2. Gold was pointed lower when we left it. Inside day, trade it. F1, I think F2 is going to be definitely a B. Leaning B when you look at the congestion area, but uh, I can make a pretty strong case for a D pattern right there. Looking for a new move out of the 1291 area. So 94, 96, sell 1. 99, 01, sell 2. Um, 88 to 90, buy 1. 84, 86, buy 2. Crude oil, APIs tonight, EIAs tomorrow. Uh, don't be surprised if we see another nice draw in crude. And that's because we can export it now. So inside day on crude, waiting the numbers tonight and tomorrow. Um, inside the congestion area, leaning B, if you look at the entire day session, it's a P, so we'll see what it brings us. Uh, 48, 48 and a quarter, sell one. 50 to 75, sell two. Um, 47 and a quarter, 47, 50, buy one. 46, 75, 47, buy two. It's down to the numbers. And lastly, the euro.
Uh, trading range until Draghi speaks would be my guess. Inside day on the F1, find them. work both edges of the market. And inside the congestion area, it's leaning P, but we are lower. And if we do an Asian split out here, Frankfurt, we'll do Frankfurt. Definitely a B. So perhaps a little lower, but not breaking. So 1750 by 1, 1725 by 2. On the uh, sell side, looks like 1780 to 90, sell 1, 1810 to 20, sell 2. And that does it for this August the 22nd, 2017. I will see you bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening.